what's up guys so here recently i formatted my drive and i thought i had everything backed up but my drive setup which pretty much automates the setting up of your arcade drive was i deleted the source i didn't have it backed up to the cloud which i thought i did so i've been wanting to redo it anyway so I started on a new drive back, a new drive setup, and it's turning out really cool. Now the workflow, I'll go ahead and show you the workflow. So here's the workflow here. So we load the main form, we verify the drive and the user. Obviously, exit if it didn't come from me. And then we go and we check for any setup updates. Now that means um, any emulator configurations, and I want to show you this in action here in a minute, at least one of these modules. And then if the user, if there is an update, the user is prompted, do they want to update? If no, then it goes back to the main screen. If so, then it updates from the Git. And then it's going to run, once they proceed and hit the drive setup, it's going to run the class the configure class module and what that does is it's going to run through the entire drive and set up every emulator that's in use for their specific controller then it's going to install the run times then any third-party applications our font installer which is used on the front end and save the user preferences and exit so i'm going to go ahead and show you one module that's in place right now and I still have a little bit of debugging to do actually I got a lot of debugging to do so this is the configuration class so what this is going to do is it's going to allow the user to select joystick arcade or tank stick and what that means why I'm doing that is because I've had so many users go well I'm going to get this drive now but I've only got a 360 controller, but I want to order a Rec Room Masters Arcade later. Can I reconfigure it for that? And that's why this is in play. So right now, I have my drive set up for the arcade. And I'm going to go ahead and set it up for the joystick. And I'm doing this live, so I really hope all this works. If not, it's going to look like a really messed up. So right now, it's verifying the drive. It's looking for main, it's configuring main for the joysticks, configuring RetroArch, setting BizHawk controls, setting dice, adding scum and Yabase to the app directory for your local profile, setting joy to key, and we're done. So it sets joy to key for any system such as Daphne, OpenMSX, or anything else that AAE is another one it sets and so on we actually have another class over here that is going to allow you to uh, turn on and off scan lines in main turn on HLSL and some other main options but we're actually doing that through the rocket launcher module it's just setting the the settings in the rocket launcher module not actually in the main INI files so now I'm hoping this worked from my testing so far I haven't dedicated an enormous amount of time maybe an hour or two a day every other day to getting the new drive setup working so if we're lucky this is gonna work just fine and it looks like we just lost our batteries let's take a look here There it is. I'm oh. Let's check out the music. Was set to uh oh. I don't know if I have any favorites set to it. Oh I got smashed. So we're gonna load smash. Loading TV. complete.
you can see I have the scan lines turned on and the next step will be setting your main settings. I have a lot of people that don't want scan lines and they don't want they want to see every single pixel MAME has to offer, even if it's blocky or whatever. Bingo! Bingo! Goes. Bingo! Bingo! I'm, on my face, I'm happy. Bingo! Bingo! <laughs> Just a minute ago, it did not accept this. So Bingo! Let's check um, and ensure that that let's say Nintendo okay. is using RetroArch. Let's make sure that that's correctly. Let's do something. Let's check Daphne. And make sure our joy to keys are working. Let's launch Dragon Ball. Loading complete. Blink. There you go. Now, if I hit this button, it should insert Dragon's the Lair of Sweet. I'm going to play through just a couple frames just to make sure the controls are properly set. That's working. Let's try our D-pad. Ah, so our analog and our D-pad are properly set. Alright. And one last thing I want to check is... Um, the Super Nintendo. Now for arcade setups, I set Super Nintendo on for MAME, because it's a lot easier for people to configure, but for um, joystick control, we set up for a retro one. So let's just pick something really wonky, which I'm about to change every single thing to 16 by 9 points, which is a 4.3. Let's do... I actually had this game. Back in the day, ROM nine and a half. Loading complete. I need to remove those prototypes too. And actually, it launched on my third screen. So I don't know. You can't see it, but you should be able to hear it. Launch is working with the 360 controller. However, we are not getting sound. So that's one thing I'm going to have to jump into and take a look at. Because we should have got sound with the virtual one, right? Unless we have some kind of override. So let's take a look at um, let's take a look at this one more time, because as you see. You see some additional options. Now, this is to add the Hyperspin startup script during the setup. So you can actually navigate with this. Now, if you don't select, um, if you select joystick, this is automatically going to be added anyway. However, if you select arcade, then I just now thought of something I have to do. If I select arcade, I need to null this out. Um, then it will set the controls for the iPad controls, such as enter one key uh, up and down and not actually joystick controls. I have a lot of people using uh, PS4 and PS3 controllers. And this, these two options here will also allow you to install the PS3 and PS4 drivers so you can use those controllers now you might have to dig in and do a little bit of configuring with the emulators maybe maybe not i don't think you will with ds4 but definitely with the ps3 you're gonna have to but see for example i see a couple things i need to do now is if these two are set and i select arcade it needs to null these values out as well as this one but anyway a lot of progress is being made on a five minute setup because if you get an arcade and you don't want to spend the next two to three hundred hours setting everything up why not have it set up in five minutes right so whenever this is done i will let you guys know and it will be added to the drive setup also um next week is my update week for my drive update once a month and I think I'm going to do that on a live stream. 
so you guys can sort of see how much time is put in every month and how I go about everything. I think it'd be kind of cool for a live stream. I don't know. If no one watches, then I'll just cut it off and continue on. So anyway, have a good day, guys.